Hey everyone, today we're checking out the Edifier W320TN. And on paper, these buds look insane. You get LDAC, multi-point connection, in-ear detection, and hybrid noise cancelling, all for under $100. So today I'll be comparing them to the best budget and premium semi-in-ear earbuds so you get a proper idea of the value that you're getting. And because, as usual here, we're going in depth. Now, like pretty much any semi in ear earbud, it has the same ergonomics as the AirPods. Slightly more compact, but it feels very similar in the ear, which is fine because AirPods fit me great. I can use them all day and I use them when editing my videos and they're one of my go-to running earbuds. So it's the same situation here for the 320s. I can use them all day, weight training, running, any kind of movement. They stay in my ears really well, but that's just how they fit me. Semi in earbuds, it's a one size fits all situation because you don't get ear tips. So you can't customize the fit. So the only way to know is to try them out yourself. But if you do like using your earbuds when training, these have an IP54 dust and water resistant rating. So fine if they get a bit dusty, sweat, water, splashes, you just can't submerge the buds in water. Now the advertised battery life you're getting here is six hours from the buds, 28 hours in total with noise canceling off. That comes down to five hours and 23 hours in total with noise canceling on. And in my test with noise canceling off, I got five hours from the earbuds at 60% volume. Couldn't test with noise canceling on because of the any detection, which I'll talk about in a sec. You do get fast charge here. So chuck the buds in the case for 10 minutes. You're gonna get one hour's playback. You don't get wireless charging. I mean, at this price, it could have been there. I personally never use wireless charging. I don't know. I just like to plug in my chargers for some reason. Now the case itself, it's pretty compact, a little bit thicker than the AirPods case here for a bit of reference, but the overall thickness and size is on par with most other semi in ear earbuds you can get. The build quality of the case, definitely not on the level of the AirPods 3, but I'd say it's in line with a pair like the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live. And you get a nice colored LED on the front so you know when to charge your case up. Now let's talk about controls. I've reviewed over seven Edify earbuds over the last three years and the controls, always a letdown. A lot of their pairs just wouldn't have full control, so they wouldn't have a triple tap option, and you couldn't customize them to make it work for you. It's always been a bit of a mess until now. Edifier have finally listened. You get everything. You get long hold, single, double, triple press, and you can customize each individual function on the left or the right earbud. All that's locked is the single press, which is for play and pause, but you can now add everything you want in as well as volume up and down. I found for this bud specifically, it was best to set the volume up and down to the long hold since these use squeeze controls. So that makes it a lot easier to quickly adjust the volume up and down. You can just hold on the earbud and then it'll increase it or decrease it and keep going as you hold it down. And the squeeze controls here, much like the AirPods 3, the sensitivity is spot on. You can actually customize the sensitivity in the app. You can also customize how loud the click feedback is. And I'd recommend setting that to at least 12. Otherwise you won't be able to hear the click feedback very well when you're above about 60% volume. Now you do get any detection to automatically pause and play your music. These don't have skin detection though, like the AirPods 3. So if you put like one of your earbuds in your pocket, it'll think it's in your ear and start playing music again, but not really expected at the price they're at. It's super responsive when you take the earbuds out. The only issue with it is when you put the earbuds back in your ear, it takes about four seconds for music to resume since the buds play a beep every time you put the buds back in your ear. And this will also happen even if you turn the in-ear detection off in the app, but at least you can turn it off. Now connectivity, you're getting Bluetooth 5.3 here, SBC and LDAC. You aren't getting AAC, which is just a thing with Edify earbuds, but they still sound fine on iOS. And with LDAC, of course, only on Android devices, this is gonna give you a very subtle improvement in sound quality. A few percent if you use high quality streaming, even if you don't use high quality streaming, you still get a slight improvement in sound quality. And you can use one earbud at a time while you leave the other in the case and it does work in mono mode. So when you're using one earbud, you're gonna hear the left and right audio channel out of the one earbud. And the multi-point connection you're getting here works as well as most multi-point connections. You just gotta pause playback on one device before you resume it on the other device. And it takes about five to eight seconds for the audio to kick in, which is on the slower side. The only issue is that you can't use LDAC when you have multi-point connection on. Now, in terms of gaming latency, it's pretty bad when you don't have the game mode on, but luckily turn the game mode on and the latency gets brought down quite a bit. So here are the results I got in my test on both iOS and Android. For casual games, around 400 milliseconds is fine. You wanna get closer to 200 milliseconds if you're into faster reaction games like shooters. All right, now let's head outside, see what the core quality is like, and I'm gonna compare them to the AirPods 3. Here are the samples. All right, so starting the test here with my iPhone 12 Pro microphone so you can hear all the noise going on around me. All right, so here is the core quality of the AirPods 3. Testing, testing, one, two, three.
All right, so here is the call quality of the Edifier W320TN. Testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, before we talk about the noise canceling on these earbuds, if you're enjoying this style of review, please chuck a like down there. It really does help the video and the channel out. Now, Edifier is known to have some great noise canceling and that continues with the 320. Now, keep in mind, this is noise canceling for a semi e fit. These don't have an ear tip and it's incredibly hard for noise canceling to work without an actual seal in your ear canal. Two other earbuds I've tested that have noise canceling with this kind of fit are the Galaxy Buds Live and Soundpeats Air 4. The Air 4, they said they have noise canceling, but for me, it did nothing in my testing. The Galaxy Buds Live, they blocked out a very small amount of plane noise and crowd noise in my quick test, but not very noticeable. The noise canceling you're getting on Edify though, it is easily noticeable. The first time I tried it, I was inside and it was a pretty windy day. So the wind was quite loud outside and the noise canceling actually blocked out about 50% of that wind noise. Also went for a walk outside and there was a pretty busy road in the near distance. And again, that noise canceling blocked out over 50% of that road noise. Things like chatter in the distance and crowd noise also get blocked out pretty well. It's only with lower frequency sounds, like I test plane noise on my soundbar quite loud. It still blocks out a bit of that high frequency and middle frequency sound, but the low frequency sound, it blocks out the tiniest bit, but most of it gets through. And still, even the cheapest noise canceling earbud you can find that uses an ear tip will have stronger noise canceling than the 320, but it's, it's just something about noise canceling with a semi e fit, where you know there's nothing digging into your ear, but you still get a noise canceling effect. It feels like it shouldn't happen. It's really cool and Edifier's done a solid job at this. It's also great to see barely any EQ shift. So this is how your sound quality changes with noise canceling on compared to noise canceling off. Barely notice any difference. And I was surprised to see an option for transparency mode here. Since with the semi e fit, it's like a natural transparency mode, but you can kind of think of the transparency mode there as a slight boost in what you hear. So you can turn it on, you can customize the strength in the app. And I didn't really notice much of a difference until I increase it all the way up in the app and it kind of like boosts your natural hearing a little bit but it still doesn't really sound like a transparency mode so a good option to have there but now let's talk about the sound quality I'm going to sum up the sound in one word and that is potential because overall they sound good about what you can expect at the price you're paying for this kind of earbud it's balanced well you do get a bit of sub bass which is pretty rare for the semi e fit mid bass is slightly lacking though the mid range is solid so vocals are clear and natural and the treble is clean but lacks a bit of extra sparkle and detail so not amazing but they sound good for any kind of music you throw at them but the main benefit of this kind of tuning is that it gives you a solid bass to eq the buds and push out some impressive sound so you do get four presets to choose from pop sounds are best pretty much boosting the bass slightly which gives the bass a slightly more full response but it still left me wanting more. And here's where the potential of these earbuds is kind of wasted. Because if I have the pop EQ on, then I go into my Spotify EQ and do a little bass and treble boost, they sound amazing. And I can crank them to 100% volume with barely any distortion. And with that double EQ, they now sound almost on par with the AirPods 3. AirPods still slightly better when it comes to treble and slightly more bass. So I honestly don't know why Edifier just didn't add a regular band EQ because the price you're paying here, it really should be there. And sure, you can EQ in other apps and stuff like that, but it's not going to get saved to the earbuds themselves. So that can work on Android, definitely on iOS. It's not going to work. So overall, they still sound great, especially with the pop EQ on, but they just could have sounded a lot better. Another small issue is with the volume. I found myself having to venture pretty close to 100% volume if I was in a more noisy environment. So having at least another one or two clicks would have been nice. And for an easy comparison, the AirPods 3 give you about three extra clicks of volume. So now onto the comparisons, already kind of compared the AirPods 3. You can see they're better when it comes to sound quality. They're still the best overall. They are more expensive though, but now let's compare it to a Bud at a similar price, the Galaxy Buds Live. The Buds Live are generally cheaper, but the Edifier 320 gives you LDAC, multi-point connection, and much stronger noise cancelling. The Buds Live have wireless charging and the sound quality is better on the Buds Live. They give you a fuller bass response and more crisp treble. They also go just as loud as the AirPods 3, but the main issue with them is the EQ shift when you start to venture above 70% volume. So what happens on the Buds Live to reduce distortion, when there's a song with a decent amount of bass, mainly above 70% volume, it'll reduce the bass by about 50%, which will make them sound pretty lacking. And then for the bass to come back, you need to pause your music, go to a lower volume, and then play again, then the bass will come back until you go to a high volume again. With the bass heavy song, it's pretty annoying. I thought this would have been updated since I last reviewed them like over a year ago, but it's still there. If that's something that will annoy you, don't go for the Buzz Live.
Next is the Soundpeats Air 4, a bit cheaper and you do get Aptex lossless high-res audio. They also have multi-point connection. They have noise cancelling like I said, but it doesn't actually do anything. And the sound quality is overall better on the 320s, but the bass is much fuller on the Air 4. You get full EQ customization in the app and three extra clicks of volume. Another cheaper pair are the Air 3 Deluxe HS, which you can probably get for half the price. You also get LDAC, you're not getting multi-point now, but the sound quality is really close to the 320s. More detailed treble on the Air 3, a fuller mid-bass response. It is the mids and sub-bass where the 320 do shine though. But again, more volume on the Air 3 and full EQ customization. So wrapping it up here, the 320s are still great. The noise cancelling is insane. The price tag may be a little bit too high. The main issue is to keep in mind the low volume and lack of full EQ customization. If it wasn't for that, these would easily be the best at their price. But be sure to check out this video here where I did compare the Soundpeats Air 4 to the Air 3 Deluxe HS. So check that out. In the meantime, stay picky. I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.